Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, we have a recommendation from the game's librarian, and that is Gigawing for the Dreamcast. Now, um, I actually sort of remember this game from back in the day. Uh, it was a 2D side-scrolling shoot-em-up. Uh, I never played it, I don't think. However, uh, my friend, the game's librarian, saw it in the shop window of a CEX up where he lives. And he recommended it. So I thought, why not? Um, I definitely remember seeing this in the magazines at the time. Uh, it, there was a little bit of fanfare around it. So I'm assuming it's probably, as shmups go, one of the better ones. So uh, I've acquired a copy of it and we're going to try it. So we've got some information here. Also, if you look on my camera, um, it's kind of hard to see because my camera sucks. That hopefully will be rectified in the new year. Um, it, there's a box, a purple box just under the microphone. And I can just about see Leo's head sticking out of it, which was distracting me when I tried to do the first take of this video. Um, but he is hiding now. That box is full of straw and it's his favorite bed in the world. Anyway, that's not why you're here. So, let's have a look. So, I did get some notes here about Gigawing. So, it's a 1999 vertical scrolling shooter arcade game developed by uh, Takumi Corporation and published by Capcom. I, yeah, I... I thought it was something to do with Capcom. A lot of shmups were back then, to be honest. It was ported over to the Dreamcast console later that year and is notable for using a horizontally aligned monitor, something that is rare for vertical shooters. Yeah, okay. It takes place during a fictional war with a steampunk setting. All right and the player controls one of four different futuristic aircraft that must destroy a medallion that possesses great power. The game has four different characters, each with their own storyline. Oh, that's interesting. And endings. Huh. Uh, also, team play mode that creates a new storyline. What? The game also has three types of attacks. A normal shot, a reflect attack that reflects enemy bullets and damages enemy ships, and a force bomb that nullifies all on-screen bullets. Yeah, in these bullet hell games, things like that probably going to be useful. The game has a sequel, Gigawing 2, that uses 3D graphics instead of 2D, and adds a new kind of reflect attack, the reflect laser. It also introduces the volcano mechanic. If enough medals are on screen, a, vol a volcanon of medals will erupt, producing even more medals. The Dreamcast port adds four player option, a rarity for shoot em ups. Yeah, I don't remember too many um, shmups where you could actually have four players. I mean, two players is fairly common. Most of them did. But four players, that, that would have been chaos. All right, the game has a bad export for the US. All right, the Dreamcast version lacks the Japanese voice acting. That's interesting, because we're actually playing the European version. Because this is a dump of a Dreamcast disc that I have. Which is a dump of a pirated version that I have on disc, which is actually the European version. Huh. <coughs> so the game has a... Yeah, okay. The full Japanese version was eventually released in the Capcom Arcade Stadium. Okay. The game has a hidden character, the Stranger, who is a real person. Oh, who is the real person in control of the medallion and the final boss of the game. He can be unlocked by entering a code at the character selection screen. The game has a Guinness World Record for the highest score achieved in any game on any platform, in any genre, which is, oh my lord. 2181619942992564880 and it was set by JC uh in 2001 well okay so should we head over to the monitor and have a look shall we i think that would be a reasonable idea 
Right. Let's fire up the old Dreamcast emulator, shall we? Uh, I'm hoping this game's going to work. We're going to find out. It took me a while to get the uh, game actually recognized by the emulator. I don't know why. I'm hoping it's going to be here somewhere. This is but a fraction of my Dreamcast games. Um, right. Ah, Gigawing is now here. But now we have three Gigawings. Um, all right, whatever. Ha, three Gigawings. I'm guessing we can just click any one of these and it's fine. I guess so. Been a while since I played a shmup. I used to really love this uh, genre back when I was a kid. Um, on the old Mega Drive, I played so many, like Thunder Force. Oh my god, maybe we should do Thunder Force one day. That was such a great game. The medallion is the stone created by the gods. It has the power to create or destroy life. Now with the fate of humanity, something, something, something. So that's a medallion. Betting. Continue or fail. Pilot and fighter. All right. So we get a nice little intro here. None of that means anything to me, sure. So, ooh. That's some jazzy music, man. I was not expecting that. I've retaken this intro a couple of times. Uh, but I haven't... This is all new to me. I haven't actually fired this game up. So, and the great thing about emulation is we get to use our, our Elite Controller. Yes, the Xbox Elite Controller, which is a wonderful controller. Um, anytime I don't have to go back and touch a Dreamcast controller is a happy day. So let's check out the options. So we have difficulty. Wow, eight difficulty levels. We'll go with four to start with. Let's have some more lives. I guess that's lives. Bomb stock. I always loved it in these games, these arcade games, where you could choose how many like lives you have and how many bomb stocks. I have no idea how hard this is going to be. Button configuration might be a good idea. So A is shot, and B is force bomb. R is auto shot. That's curious. And vibration is off. Oh, that's interesting. The vibration is working. I've never got vibration to work on this emulator before. All right, sure. Um, okay. So, let's go. So we've got arcade or score attack. How to play might be worth it. Maybe. Contr press the shop button. Weapon and shoot protective projectiles. Hold and release shot, and then release it when the gauge is at max. Okay. Wait a minute. I remember this. All right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll figure it out. I think I've. I think I've played this. So we can have some characters. Ruby. Or. Sinanoski? Who else have we got? Stuck. We could take Stuck out for a game, eh? Or Isha. Well, I like Ruby. Ruby seems cool. She's got cool hair. And she looks like she's got a cool flying machine. Let's do it. I love all of these 2D um, like pixel art graphics as well. They just appease the child in me. This plane is impressive indeed. A millionaire can get some insane hardware. But, but fuck me, I can't read that. Even if it's for the children, I... All right, she said some words. Oh, yes, and we can use... Okay, of course. So one thing to remember is don't hold the button down, apparently. Holding the button down is going to charge your attack up. But maybe we want to do that. This game is actually really pretty. And it's got that pulse-pounding music as well, which we like. I'm guessing these medals are going to do something for us. We collect them all. 
All right, so what does the R shot? So the R is auto shot. Okay, so if we hold down the R button, it fires the guns without charging them up. That's actually quite nice to know. Oh my god. Oh, this game is so fucking cool. I haven't played anything like this for a while. You just blow the shit out of everything. These games always live and die. Oh, hello. These games live and die with how detailed their pixel art is as well. And this game... Oh, shit, we just got fragged. This game looks stunning. So I'm guessing if we die, we lose our power upgrades. That's usually how these games go. Doesn't give you a lot of time to stop and think, that's for sure. Oh, smokes. Just got completely hosed. And the great thing about the Dreamcast is it really was like... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Great thing about the Dreamcast is it was um, fantastic at this 2D stuff. It was such a fast machine for rendering 2D graphics. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. We are getting absolutely railed here. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Okay, so we can continue, which is curious. I wonder if we have unlimited um, continues. That would be nice on a home port. All right. Loving the fact that we just flew over an aircraft carrier, like a giant aircraft carrier. Super Thunderblade uh, was another game that I really liked back in the day, Mega Drive days. However, I did suck massive amounts of penis at that game. So, yeah. Oh, B. Is that a bomb? Yeah, I guess so. Is this the boss? I always think about um, when I'm playing these games that we're just this one airframe. Just, whoa. Something just got nuked. Their cruelty defies description. So many pointless deaths. They exterminate people as if they were insects. Oh, okay. Also, this music is banging. All right. So, yeah, here we go. We've got to take out this bomber thing. All right. So. Whoa, dude. That's the bomb. Holy hell, dude. That is gnarly. Um, this thing's still flying, though. It's got some, like, ace combat energy going. All right. That's fine. So, we only had 60 seconds, to, I guess, to take that thing out. All right. Oh, listen to this stanky music. Oh, man. I am all over this. That was a mighty good run. The enemies fell swiftly before me. I can't. It's too quick. You can't read it. Let me finish the job. We're going to finish the job or die trying. So, yep, yeah, still don't uh, have a handle on what... Whoa, that is a big medal. Still don't have a handle on... Um, what these do, I guess they are just for points, which is fine. You know, we like these points in video games. Remember when video games are all about the points? Well, we're, we're, this isn't going too well. I guess we've got to alternate between these two. Well, I remember... Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I do remember uh, playing one of these back on a Windows PC back in the day. Uh, I think it was Windows 95, and it was the like the most detailed shoot 'em up that I'd ever played. Oh, that we actually die if we fly into that as well. That's problematic. Uh, and it just looked absolutely stunning with the uh, SVGA graphics. Um, but I never, I never did find what that game was, unfortunately. Maybe it was this. I don't know. Possibly. Nah, I don't think it was. Come on, there we go. We need that power. <laughs> As we get eviscerated, all systems, full power. At least it gives you the chance to pick power-ups up again, like once you've been destroyed. Some games are way crueler. Ah, oh. I mean, I'm not, I'm not seeing um, a limit of continues here. So, yeah, maybe we can just keep picking them up. Which is pretty rad. Uh, we definitely need more... Wow, son of a bitch. More firepower. Right, let's just nuke these guys from orbit. After all, it's the only way to be sure. 
Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we're literally taking apart this massive battle station. Looks like some kind of ship. And it just feels so... Oh, so good. To rip into these entire armies. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, we're in, like, impossible territory. Um, I don't know how people can literally get good at these games. I really don't. As fun as they are. I'm guessing if we die again, we're going to lose that floating P. Oh, no. I've remembered what I'm thinking of. This, it, this isn't the game that I played um, all those years ago. I'm thinking of Battle Heart Excelsior or something. Yeah, one hit and you're gone. Just getting absolutely eviscerated by these guys. They're in sight. From the back. Out of the water? That was unexpected. Yeah, we don't like it when they come from the back. It's like some Power Rangers music going on here. Right, let's see how he likes some of those apples. Just gonna nuke this guy into orbit. One bomb left. Let's do it. So, ooh, that's not fantastic. He's got like a massive mirror on the back. Giving us the full power of the sun. If I had had this game back in the day, I would have loved this. Oh, listen to that. Oh, it's so dirty. That dirty, kind of distorted bass. Love it. They don't get what kind of sacred ground they desecrate as long as it serves their needs. It's ironic seeing them use those ruins when they don't seem to realize the ruins exist because of something. Alright, maybe we need to start using this bomb thing. I don't know what this bomb thing does. Like, when you hold it down. Doesn't that stop? Yeah, right, that's what reflects the bullets. That's good to know. But, yeah, there is a wind-up with that, so it's risk versus reward. Do you hold on and charge the gun up? But when you're charging the gun up, you are, um, of course, completely open to being attacked. I do like the lava level. Oh, damn. What's the story with that plane? Are you trying to shoot me down? Interesting. I'll be your match. We will. Right up the arse with our lava cannon. Yes. Don't like that shit, do ya? Me lado. Oh. Wait. Wait. Right. So we actually can charge that uh, shield thing up whilst we're firing normally. Interesting. Enjoying that stock artificial voice sound there as well. There's a old RTS game that used that same sort of synthetic voice. Uh, humans versus aliens on the moon. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but it had a wicked intro. Dark... Some, oh, I can't remember. I want to say Dark Alliance, but it was not Dark Alliance. This is gnarly. I'm liking the enemy designs as well. Oh, God. There we go. There's there's the hit of the shield there. That's, that's why we're paid the big bucks. Also, that's pretty rad to see like a submarine just pop up out of the lava. And that's something you don't see every day. Surely you could teach the Royal Navy a thing or two. Oh, man been smoked okay this thing means business but luckily we have unlimited continues I guess whoa dude so it looks like every time we die uh, we hang on to three power-ups so I'm guessing if you have yeah if you have four or five power-ups you lose them, which is, I guess, fair. <laughs> Savage. Wow, look at all these guns. There's like, there's just no way you can survive. There's no way. Wow, look at the servicing crane. Yep, you're gonna be our boss. 90 seconds. Okay. 
Let's hit it. <laughs> oh my god, this ship is like setting sail in the lava as well. Fantastic. That's how you know you're up against a tyrant. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? Whoa! Yep, eviscerated. Alright, let's do that so we can grab... Oh, look, there's the medal. I'm, I'm guessing that's just the medallion that we've got to destroy that's somehow being embedded into all of these ships. And every time we die, do we get those bombs back? That's interesting. I've only just noticed that. I mean, it doesn't seem to do a huge amount of damage, but I guess it does enough. Whoa, what bullshit is that? Yep, yeah, every time we die, we come back with our with our bombs which is really bloody nice oh that's so good I wish that I wish that music just lasted a little bit longer so you could just sit there and enjoy it I'm sure glad the plane had air conditioning that was depressing and that what it's time to full speed uh, to move on full speed ahead next destination something well, I hope we're going somewhere good. Whoa, it's like Skies of Arcadia. Hey, with this renaissance of Sega, remembering that they're a game developer, I wonder if we're going to get uh, another Skies of Arcadia. You know, I'd settle for a Skies of Arcadia HD. And please, please, can we get um, Jet Set Radio Future HD, please? Or just make it back compatible with the Xbox, man. I'll take that. So this guy's back. Who are these fools and why are they following me? Don't they value their lives? Well, maybe we're not the only ones that are immortal. Let's try and hit it with that weird flamethrower thing. Because you know we're going to die, so we're going to get our bombs back. Whoa. Kind of ejected. Okay. Whoa. We've... <laughs> no way. Sniped out of the sky. Can we, like, complete this? Ah, oh, son of a... Yeah, we're just getting railed here. And not the good kind of railed. Oh, man. There's so much... There's so much nonsense on the screen to try and, like, keep track of. It's kind of insane. I mean, sure, we're continuing. Maybe we should have put this uh, down on the difficulty scale a little bit. Because we're just getting wrecked every second. I guess we just need to be using bombs more often, I suppose. Or use that um, shield bubble thing. But there is like a cooldown with that shield bubble thing. So you can't just keep spamming it. Oh my days. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Wow, we just completely gutted him from the inside. Oh, wait, is that? That's medals? Alright. I hope these medals are money. Because our girl Ruby is going to be loaded by the time she finishes this. If she survives, you know. Oh, Megatron. Uh, it's not Megatron. That kind of looks like Vector Man. Right, let's give them everything we have. Pulling everything from the cupboard today. Whoa, laser beam. Do not like. Let's hit him, hit him. Right, so you cannot use that laser, um, the bomb, if you're firing your primary weapon. Good to know. Yep, we can't actually use our shield. Come on, hit him with the bombs. Time to go nuclear. This thing's built like a tank. As you'd imagine. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Completely eviscerated him. After he killed us like 36 times. Phew, I've made it this far. I'll reach my final destination before too long. Children, I'll return home soon. Is she a mother? I guess so. All right. 
Let's go. Kicking ass and taking names. Whoa, 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 motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. It's fine. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks like some, some Zelda shit. Oh, dude. I cannot process everything that's going on. Oh, good lord. This is chaos, and I love it. Seriously. Alright. Whether these power doodads disappear, I don't know. It doesn't look like they do. Whoa. Just completely annihilate an entire air wing of enemies. So it looks like our medals reset when we die, which is fine. Fuck. Talk about getting creamed. Wow. It's like a fly... What is that? It's like some kind of power pill or something. But then I suppose if your enemy is using mystical god powers to create an army, you're kind of hosed, to be fair. Just saying. But we have to fight for the children. Right, that's fine. We can fight for the children. Good lord. Fighting for a better tomorrow. That thing looked like a moth. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> lord have mercy. So if we're fighting like godlike powers, does that mean we're the devil? Whoa. Yeah, how do you avoid that? There's no way. There's no way of avoiding that. You're just completely hosed. Whoa, fucking hell. Yeah, there's a language warning on this video, by the way. This is intense. What the hell is that? Get out of my way! I'm not getting paid to defeat you over and over again. Well, I guess we are. And we have no bombs either. Yeah, we do. They just... Yeah, sometimes the bombs just... Don't seem to trigger for whatever reason. Not sure why. We're just gonna... Oh. Okay, so I was gonna say, we're just gonna eviscerate this guy with the pa the fact that we are immortal. Yep. <laughs> See, by the time you, you think that you need to start holding down to charge up the shield, you're already dead. It's just like, game over, man. Game over. My mid-30 year old brain is struggling to comprehend everything that's going on. Oh. But I'm having a good time. I'm having a wonderful time. And I think that's all that matters. Yeah, so that bar's going to cool down now. Oh, here we go. It's that Power Rangers music. This thing looks like it's come straight out of uh, ancient Egypt. And I kind of like it, not going to lie. Yeah, you're having a bad time there, brother. Shooting up your ship. But he's about, yep, <laughs> I was going to say he's about to annihilate us. But that's fine. Man, imagine being like so good you can get through this game like with, um, you know, minimal deaths and casualties. Can you even imagine that? Whew. What's going on? It's too bright to see anything. My plane isn't responding either. I don't know what to do. Uh, that's bad. That's very bad. Oh dear. Final boss. This is a surprise. Would it be rude if I didn't fight with all my might? Let's have fun. All right. Wow. Did you just call me a potato? I mean, you're not inherently wrong, but it's a little bit cold. All right, we are out of bombs. Now we have them all back. Excellent. Um, please don't squash me like a bug, sir. 
Oh, good lord. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get annihilated before you can even charge up the power. Now, I wonder if it's going to be like one of those games where you don't get the proper ending until um, you've completed it on hard or something. That I wouldn't be surprised. Whoa. We're out of bombs, dude. We're out of bombs. It's getting bigger. What is this? Dude, stop getting bigger. Hey, more power. Excellent. More power again. Let's see if we can hold on to it for a hot minute. What the hell is all this bullshit coming down from the sky? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. What is all this nonsense? We got bullet bills now and everything. Right, he's toast. Last bomb. Got to take this side out. Whoa, he's got faces. Like, this is some seriously bad voodoo. Yeah, there's, there's nothing good coming from this guy. Imagine being in the arcade. You, you've got no chance. The whole point of this game is to take your coins. Whatever currency you have, it's taken them. Oh, you son of a bitch. See, the way I always used to play these games is you've got to just try and look at the bullets that are coming at you. Don't even worry about the enemies. Just look at the bullets that are coming at you. Whoa! What the hell is that? I'm just gonna... Ooh! He's got a meaty fleshy bit. Always shoot him in the meaty fleshy bit. Always hit him in the flesh. Whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> what is this nonsense? Absolute nonsense. Oh, you're scrapped, dude. Oh, no, you're not scrapped. I was a fool. And we died. Wait. The hell is that? It's going like breakout on us. That's fine. Just gonna punish him. Oh no 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 no! He's pulling out all the tricks. Okay, this is bad. Yep. <laughs> right. Let's get our freak on with these bombs. Whew! That's some intense stuff. Hey, wait! Do you really think you're gonna get away from me just because you're a rock? It's too late to turn back now. You won't escape from me. If the peace of humanity is at stake, I cannot return home. It looks like he went somewhere. Children, I must... I might be able to return to you. Please, something. And there is our coin. I'm not controlling this. Stage clear. Hey, we got a perfect score. Um, somehow. Epilogue. Time passed. One of the orphans that Ruby adopted had joined something. A member of the press interviewed him as to why he... Be yeah, I can't read this, guys. I can <laughs> Ambitions of powerful men. Okay. So basically, Mummy was a great woman. She adopted us, saved humanity. Ambitions of evil men are bad. You know the drill. A very vague, hollow wrapper around delicious meat. And that's what this game was, man. This was delicious meat. And I guess there's still three quarters of the meat on the bone. More than that, if you include the hidden character. But we're not going to play all the characters, because <laughs> I can't fucking read it anyway. But, um, that was good. That was really fun. I'd imagine that I would have... Yay! Oh, thank you. 
I'm just a jackass that talks shit into a microphone. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. That was a pleasure to play your game, Capcom. If it was actually available for sale somewhere, I might actually be inclined to purchase it. Because that's the sort of thing that's fun every now and again to spark up. The end. Or is it? Had to be a question mark at the end there. Uh, name entry. Triple A, baby. Game over. Good job, your score ranked in. Would you like to save now? Uh, sure. 200 blocks free? Say it ain't so. Sure. Well, that was a blast. That was loads of fun. Well, thanks. Uh, thank you, Chris, for recommending this. This was absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any experience with old school shmups. Um, there used to be an arcade where, um, when I was growing up, in a place called Porth Town, and it was only open during the summertime. Porth Town was a tourist trap. It was basically a beach in like a, a handful of houses <laughs> with a ghetto full of drugs that we definitely didn't spend all of our childhood um, residing in. Uh, but it always had an arcade and they had some shmups in there. They had Operation Wolf, which was my freaking jam. They had like the Turtles game. Um, I think that's where we first played like Street. That is the first place I played Street Fighter 2. Man, wonderful memories. This game's invoking loads of memories right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.